Hi again, everybody. Wayne DeZu back here on 630thefan.com. Let's talk a little programming here on 630thefan, first of all, okay? Tonight, 730, NFL returns to 630thefan. Yes, it's only preseason action. However, you got San Diego taking on Dallas. About four former Boise State Broncos expected to see some action. But it's NFL's preseason, and it's right here on 630 The Fan. Another programming note, Colin Coward, the former ESPN personality, has officially signed with Fox Sports now, and he'll join the lineup here on 630 The Fan September 8th, 10 o'clock in the morning. So he'll join the likes of Rich Eisen, Dan Patrick, Jay Moore, and, and of course, Dave Burnett and myself over here. But uh, we're happy to have Colin Coward on and uh, looking forward to his show every weekday morning at 10 o'clock here on 630 The Fan. Hey, well, how about those West Valley All-Stars? They won beating Billings, Montana, 11 to, uh, four, uh, 16 to 11 was the final. Now, the thing of it is they jumped to a 14 to nothing lead in that game, almost got to the point where they can 10 run it, and uh, they had to hold on to win 16 to 11, but they advanced to play tomorrow. Boise State football? 500 season tickets remain. That's all. For the first time in three years, Boise State has increased their season ticket sales over at Alberson Stadium, and in large part due to the season opener against Washington and former Boise State coach Chris Peterson. And get this, as time is moving very quickly. Three weeks from tomorrow night, the season opener for Boise State. The Boise Hawks, they lost last night. The final was 4-3. to Tri-City scored a run in the bottom of the 10th inning. And that despite the fact that for the second game in a row, the Hawks out-hit their opponent. Last night, they out-hit Tri-Cities 11-6, but still lost the game. And uh, that's going to do it for me. That's all the sports right here on Fanfare Update on Sports Radio 630 The Fan.